have here is a 1935 Terraplane. 31,000 believed to be actual miles. Interior needs carpet and the mohair door panels need to be replaced and headliner. All the wood is in great shape. It does have the mohair seat still intact that needs to be recovered. As you can see as we move around the vehicle the windshield still cranks out. It does have some imperfections in the body as far as paint, cracks, and some peeling. As we notice as we walk around with this video you'll see there is no rust in this car. This is a solid original mile, thought to be original mile car. You see here well there's some paint that has been peeling. This was believed to be tape and they had it covered up because of the piece top. But you can see here there's a little surface rust starting to come up on the corners. It was believed that the tape pulled the paint off because they had a tarp over it to keep it from leaking. This car has been in a storage unit for over 15 years that we know of that can be verified. All the glass in it is absolutely perfect. And here we're going to go into the trunk. The trunk shows no rust. Absolutely no holes. Very little surface rust in this trunk. Would make a great, great museum piece restowed or rest -a mod The back has still got the original spare tire cover with the terraplane hubcap. The chrome bumpers may have been re-chromed at one time. They're not showing any signs of pitting. They do clean up really, really nice with a little polish. We'll go over that in the front here in a moment where we polish one piece of it. Body is absolutely straight. Like I said again, a little bit of peeling paint. Very, very, very small surface rust coming up because of the paint. Like I said, we believe there was tape on it at one time. Uh, all four wheels are there with the terraplane hubcaps. The worst part on the whole car is right here with this door hinge. See where somebody maybe tried to shoot some primer on it. This is not all the way through. It is solid as you can tell from there while I just beat on it. Uh, the running boards great shape there's no rubber on there still has the factory Hudson steel badge Hudson built steel unbelievable great great car here this car needs to be restored uh, you know, make a great great piece again there's another hubcap there with the terraplane on it running board six volt system still in this car Six volt system. The headlights, here they are with the uh, bulbs, parking lamp, and the headlamp. It does have a 1935 New York license plate. Here's the chrome where we polished one corner. We do have the lenses for the headlights. We'll make those available to see also. The grill, absolutely great. Um, getting a glare on the camera, so sorry about that. Here we are with the grill. It's got a small imperfection right here where it's peeled. A uh, little pitting starting to happen here. The bird, absolutely great shape. Again, the headlights, they're the headlight dome starlight lenses. Believed to be original. We're not 100% not on that. They do have a date on them. I don't know if we can get a picture of the date in the camera. Let's see if I can sit down on it here. Uh, you can see the starlight lens there maybe. And the date. And underneath the car is absolutely perfect. Still got cable brakes on it. Suicide door car. Here's the overall body of the car. Sitting in my garage. Been sitting in my garage since I've had it. Uh, two door coupe, fabulous, fabulous little car. Suicide door car. I'm gonna have my son there open the door for you. Uh, 
great little car. I'm gonna come up here, we're gonna shut this door and you can tell, we're not gonna slam the door, we're just gonna shut it. There you shut it, ever so easy. Right there, just a little push, done. We're gonna go over here to open up the hood and we're gonna show you the six, flathead six, power dome engine. Factory, original engine. It does have a three speed transmission with fluid clutch. This car will run and drive. We're gonna crank it up for you right now. And uh, the sun there is going to push button start it. Look there, ladies and gentlemen, the car is just sitting there purring like a kitten. This is an original Hudson Power Dome. Uh, it's got Power Dome actually stamped on the top of the head there. Here's the Hudson build sticker. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, on this radiator, the radiator is the factory radiator. Uh, and we're going to look at that on the other side here in a moment. Factory radiator from 1935 in this car, and it is still in great shape, still holding antifreeze. We're going to move to the other side. All right, we've moved to the other side of the car now. We're going to go over here. We're going to look. Original tag still on the radiator. Shows Hudson Motor Company. All the imprints on it. Factory, factory there. The Hudson Power Dome logo right here on the engine. The engine's still running, believe it or not. We've got the hand in here, you see the fan running. Hard like a kid. Absolutely unreal fall. Now we're going to open the garage door. Uh, we're going to back this out and show you that it is a driver. This car is a driver. Yeah, the sun's a little bright here today. My son, he's going to get in here. We're going to back her out. And uh, we're going to watch her from here. See her backing out the garage. And then we're going to watch him drive this little jewel. Look at that. There it is. Moving on its own power. A little reverse there going on. There he goes, taking it out for his little side drive here down the side road. This is beside my house. Goes a little terraplane down the road. Here comes that terraplane coming to the top of the hill there. He's going to come right past us here. Yeah, just riding and driving, the old terraplane. That terraplane that you just seen there, ladies and gentlemen, is for sale. Thank you for watching the video. It's for sale on eBay. Please visit eBay, bid on the car. Happy bidding. Thank you. Have a great day. As you see the terraplane coming back around to go back into the garage.